Hey guys, it's Jen here, and this morning I'm just going to film a quick get ready with me video. Um, I'm about to do my makeup. My hair is done. I'm going for the natural curly look today. Um, so we're going to do our makeup. I will say in advance, I apologize if you hear my child in the background. He is playing upstairs, um, or if my dog is whining at me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first step, um, I've already done my skincare for the day. It's the weekend. Normally I would put on my Sikapair, um Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment, but because it's the weekend and I'm not really, I'm not going to work or trying to look fancy, I'm going to skip that step today. I'm being a little lazy, um, but I'm going to go in with my No Pore Blev Prime Essence Water that I got out of a BoxyCharm. So I'm going to start priming with that. And I like this because it's kind of, it's, more of a watery consistency so it feels hydrating on the skin um, but you do got to be careful because a lot will come out at one time if you're not careful but I do like it then I'm just gonna rub that in real quick let it soak into the skin get myself ready here it's a beautiful Saturday morning here in Ohio. The weather has been perfect, not too warm, not too cold. We went from like stifling hot to fall like weather like that. I don't know what happened, um, but I'm not complaining because I'm not roasting to death. Next, I'm going to just give myself a spritz with my, R my Skin & Co um, Truffle Therapy. So it just wakes me up. It's refreshing. I enjoy it. Um, you know, fan that down a little bit. And this is going to be a very basic makeup video. I'm not doing anything fancy today because, like I said, it's the weekend. I'm just running around playing with my son. Um... And so I don't really feel like I need to be completely made up for that. So, but I do like to have a little something on. For foundation, I'm going to, today I'm going to use my L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Glow. So I am going to use that. So I'm just going to give it some swipes on my skin here before I begin to work it in and this is like my go-to drugstore foundation I have higher end foundation in here but this is my go-to tried and true foundation it's great because I have drier skin it doesn't dry me out. It gives good coverage. Um, I don't like to look like I'm wearing a ton of foundation. So, I mean, it works. So I'm just gonna basically stipple it into my skin. My hair is still wet from the shower, don't mind me. Especially the top. But this is what my hair looks like naturally on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not quite curly. It's not straight. It's kind of kinky. It's kind of, I don't know, it has a mind of its own. But I've learned to just embrace the curl. Alright, so that's good and blended in. And as you can see, I have very bad dark circles. I always have. Um, but it's like tenfold right now. I don't know why. I think it's because it's the beginning of the school year and I'm busy and lots going on. So today I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just going to do it there. I have 
just some blemish down here I want to cover up. And I'm going to leave it at that. I am not one of those girls that goes through and puts concealer like all over my face. I put it where I have things I need to cover up and that's really it because that's the point of concealer. I do bring the concealer up on my eyelids just to kind of give me a base for when I go in with eyeshadow or honestly sometimes I will just leave it with my pressed powder and call it a day so we'll see the faces I make when I'm doing this are great never noticed that until right now this is my first video I've ever shot of actually putting my makeup on, so I apologize if it's a hot mess, because, well, welcome to my life. Hot mess express here. Okay, so to set my under eyes, and man, my, my dark circles are really bad because that didn't even cover them today. However, I don't like that caked up makeup look, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, but to set my under eyes, I use, it's actually a bronzer. It's the Wet n Wild um, Not Your Cabana bronzer. Now, I am pasty white, and even this would not work as a bronzer for me, but it does work great. To set your under eyes. like so and then I usually even bring it up onto the lid just to kind of give my eyes that pop that freshness and sometimes I'll even bring it clear up underneath my eyebrow just to give me a clean slate to work with Okay, so that's set. My next step is usually um, to set my, my foundation. And I've been loving the Becca, hmm, got my fingerprints all over it. The Becca um, Hydra Mist Set and Refresh foundation, or Powder. And I love this powder. It's so cool. It's very weird, but I love it. Um, because it actually feels wet on the skin when you apply it. So I just dip my brush in, tap off a little bit, and then I just start. And it does. It feels like a mist on your skin. It's wild. Um, but I absolutely love it. It doesn't leave me looking powdery. I bring it down my neck. Um, and it just makes my skin look flawless. Love it. Although now I'm kind of regretting not putting the Sika Pear Lotion on because my redness is definitely showing through today. And it wouldn't if I would have put that on. That stuff is amazing. Like, I absolutely, that is a holy grail item for me now, going forward. And it should last a long time, and I hope it does, because that little jar is like $52 at Sephora. So, okay. So now that I've powdered it up, put that away. And yes, I have all my makeup drawers are organized. If you would like to see that in a video, let me know down below and I will be happy to show you my makeup collection and kind of how I organize things. I'm gonna go in today, I'm keeping it simple with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Um, I love this stuff. It smells so good. It smells like I'm on a cruise vacation, which is where I would really like to be right now. Even though we have one 
booked for spring break, so I'm excited. And honestly, I can't even tell you where I'm going because my husband took care of it. So I just know I'm going. That's enough for me, really. He kind of takes care of those plans. He's really good about stuff like that. He's my planner. So I'm just giving myself a little bit of that bronzy glow. You know, it's September, but it's early September. It's still technically summer. So, you know, kind of feeling the summer vibe still. For blush today, I'm going to go in. This is from Flower Beauty. It's the Flower Pots Powder Blush in Warm Hibiscus. And I'm just going to gently put that in on my cheeks. It just gives you, for me really, kind of a little bit of a glow. Now for highlighter. I don't know that I'm going to do highlighter today. I would normally on the weekends do highlighter. I don't wear highlighter to work often. Um, but one of my favorite highlighters right now that I have, as far as my single highlighters go, not including any palettes I have, is from Ciate London. And it is the Glow 2 highlighter. I got this in an Ipsy and I absolutely love it. I will try to swatch it for you guys here. I don't know if you can see, but it just, like my hand is glowing right now. So it does give you a nice glow. So I guess I will put a little, who doesn't like the glow on the weekend? Come on. Okay. My hair is getting in my way. And sometimes I'll bring it down my nose a little bit. Cupid's bow. Chin. Just to kind of draw that light to those areas. My under eyes are a hot mess. I'm a, I apologize for that. They're just all bad today. All bad. So then next I would go in for my eyebrows. Um, I've really been loving this pencil by the Brow Gal. It has a sharpener with it, which is amazing. And it has the spoolie on the, the one end. So I'm just gonna, I'm not doing too much with them today. They actually, I am due to get these babies done. I'm gonna do that this weekend. Along with my nails, I'm just falling apart. I'm a hot mess. I always see these girls that are able to do these makeup videos and they're like, they're perfect. They're flawless from beginning to end. And I don't know if it's editing or if they're really just that good. I don't know. I'm not good at editing and I'm not that good. So what you see for me is what you get. I'm just a real girl, mom. who enjoys makeup, but I'm not very good at it. I'm learning, so you can learn with me. And any kind of tips or tricks is always appreciated. Yeah, these are getting done this weekend. They're bad. I trim them the best, I do the best I can with them, but sometimes you need some professional help. So I will be getting them done. But they're better than they were. And I'm going to follow up with my NYX Control Freak eyebrow gel just to kind of hold them in place. It's a clear gel. 
and it just, especially right now while they need done, it holds the hairs in place. So they're not moving, they're not going everywhere. Um, and this stuff's nice because it's clear and it doesn't, you know, it works. I've heard that the um, Anastasia brow gel is really good, but I haven't tried it, and I'm okay with the next one. So, you know, we'll keep it going. So then after that, before I do my eyes, I give myself a quick spritz, and I'm going to go back in. I'm just really loving the Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy, and I have so many setting sprays, so I'm just trying to work my way through some. Um... So that one is what I've been using lately and it works well. And then I just kind of take my little hand mirror. I need a fan. I need to buy a fan. Um, and let this dry down a little bit. Now I'm not going to go all crazy with my eyes today because like I said it's Saturday. I'm just hanging out at home not really going anywhere um but one little shadow single that i have that i've really been loving is the natasha denona and i don't know what shade this is but it's pretty and i've been using it quite a bit and i will just do like a single kind of swipe with it just a gentle give my eyes some color some shimmer and call it a day now, if I'm like going out, if I'm going out to dinner with my husband, I will definitely do a more of an evening eye look or even a more fun eye look. But just day to day around the house and even at work, I don't want to be too distracting. I will just keep it simple with some simple colors. I'm definitely a neutrals girl. I'm going to buff it into my crease a little bit to ease. So you see, it's just a little bit, not too much. And then I'm going to go in with one of my favorite things, which is from Wander Beauty. It's my Mile High, Mile, bleh, Mile High Club uh, Mascara. Love this stuff. I'm going to be very sad when it's gone. So I'm just going to pop that on the upper lids. I typically only do the lower lid. I'm going to grab my hand mirror. It's easier. If I'm going for a more dramatic effect. And I'm going to apologize for the lighting because it got really cloudy all of a sudden. And I'm not using any special lighting today. I'm just using the natural light from outside. So, sorry, it's been a change in. So, there's my eyes. You know, it's a simple look, and I'm good with that. I always put either, usually I will put a lip scrub on at the beginning. I didn't today. So I'm just going to go in with my Soft Lips Watermelon. All about the watermelon. Watermelon is an amazing smell. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then I think I'm going to pick, I'm keeping it simple. What is this? Yeah, this is the right one. These are the Tarte Quench. It's almost like a balm slash lip tint in one. And this is in the rose color. Try a lot of... Pop that on. Not lining the lips, not doing anything special. And that is my completed makeup look for Saturday. Like I said, nothing overly fancy, but hey, 
I think I look good. So that's all that matters. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please remember to click the subscribe button down below and hit the little bell for notifications. My Instagram is there. My influencer is there. So feel free to follow me on those as well. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye guys.